Can we get to 10,000 likes on this video? Can we please, please, yeah, I beg you, please. Let us get to 10,000 likes. I would be shook. I would be so shook. You guys want to see me shake? No, I don't think you want to see that. You guys get to 10,000 likes. Let's, let's try. Here we go. Michaela Negrera must be stopped. She can't stop lying the house, allegedly. This is what a lot of people on TikTok are saying about Michaela. I'm shook, girl. So get ready to dive in. Grab a snack. Come on back because you already know I have all the receipts and deleted tweets because she actually did delete this message. Okay. But the, the Roe versus Wade decision pisses me the f off. And f Clarence Thomas. Before I get into that, you already know I gotta pay the light bill. Thank you so much to today's sponsor, adamandeve.com. Thank you, adamandeve.com, for sponsoring this video. You can use code LUX to save 50% off at adamandeve.com. Some exclusions do apply, and they are shipping for the United States and Canada, but 50% off. They love it when they use my code at adamandeve.com, and a portion of the proceeds go to help and find care for HIV and AIDS, and I love companies that give back. So thank you, adamandeve.com, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with this drama. So for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, uh, Michaela said she was gonna donate half of her earnings, if you buy her pallet, to Roe versus Wade, okay, which is an organization. Donation, okay. I am linking a lot of places where you can find resources and donate in my bio. I have also made a personal decision to donate half of my earnings of my new Glamlight collection to these causes. I have also made a personal decision to donate half of my earnings of my new Glamlight collection to these causes. To donate half of my earnings, half of my Uh, she, I guess she donated, but she never showed anybody any receipts that she donated. There was, uh, this is someone who shows off their new house when they bought it. This is someone who showed off um, their new wedding dress. They're getting married. This is someone who showed off their new puppy. This is a perfect PR move for Michaela to show her audience that, hey, look, I donated. But she never showed anything. Maybe it's because she would actually show half of the earnings, what that would look like. So it's very interesting, right? So in this comment section, people have been asking Michaela for, for months now, where ha where's the proof that you donated, right? And I have the receipt right here, and uh, she posted a video where she was reviewing some blushes or some boring blush, girl, who'd care? And um, when I was watching the video, I noticed that in the comment section, she replied to somebody in the comment section that was asking her till this day, asking her about the blushes, okay? I have the receipt right here, and it says, can we get an update on the Glam Light Palette donation? Michaela responded by saying, the donations are with the organizations I donated last year. Followed by, name one please, and Michaela never responded. Here's the thing, right? This is some comments that I got on my TikTok saying, who'd care, why do you care, what's the big deal? If she says she donated, she donated. It's interesting. Right, and a lot of brands do this. Uh, I know Shantakai is a, a luxury brand inside Saks Fifth Avenue. They say if you buy our highlighter, a portion of the proceeds, five percent, goes toward helping animals in some African safari. That's like their whole gig, right? The way I see it, I could donate the money. I could donate the five percent myself. I don't need to buy the highlighter to to do all that. If I want it, if I care so much about the African monkeys and stuff, I could donate the money myself. I don't need to buy a highlighter to do that. But in this situation, Michaela sat down, and shout out to great makeup too. Very expensive, but it's decent. Michaela sat down and said, if you purchase my Glam Light palette, I will donate half of the proceeds to Roe versus Wade, because she felt so passionate about it. She, got, she made a big ordeal. She cried on camera about it the day of the launch. I, I was literally one of the very few people who made a video and I was saying, on the day that you launch your makeup palette, you're going to use the Roe versus Wade situation in your favor to try to piddle paddle and sell your palette. I, when I posted that video, oh, I, I got, I got dragged. I got so many negative comments. I have one right here, look, look, look. Here it is, the Rich Lux palette. Check it out, link down below if you're interested in buying one. Shameless plug. But that's like me saying like, hey guys, if you buy my palette, I'm gonna donate to, to the LGBTQIA community. And then y'all buy it and you ask me, hey, did you ever donate the money? And I never show proof or anything like that. So it's like I'm using that charity to, to push the sales of a palette? Is it really that serious, right? And, it, and uh, there's several instances where Michaela has been caught in a lie. And I feel this is another lie. 
Because here you have a very opportunistic person who would jump at the chance, jump at the chance to say, hey, look, I donated, PR stunt, love me, give me my flower. And she didn't do that. So this is another instance right here. Because given another opportunity to show proof that she donated, she did not. Where's the receipts? 2023 taxes, 2022 taxes, where's the receipts that you donated? I donate, I, I take my clothes that I don't wear, take it down to the local little thrift store, and I say, I wanna donate this clothing. They give you a little piece of paper, and they say that you donated the clothing. They kinda of pick and choose how much they wanna put on there or whatever, and I just give that to my tax attorney. I don't know, I think in certain states you're allowed up to like $5,000, $8,000 in donation of clothing. I don't know, something like that. Very interesting. But, girl, I can produce a receipt really quick if I donate clothing. You can't do that? I mean, there are websites where you can see uh, if people donated, and uh, according to my research team, they've checked, and they did not see Michaela's name on anything, so, Unless she's putting on her someone else's name, I'm just very interested. Where is the receipts that you donated to Roe versus Wade? This is another lie. Now, let's move forward because we caught Michaela in a second lie. This is literally today I found this out. So, uh, Michaela, oftentimes she goes on her TikTok and she says, uh, she reads a comment. For example, here's a comment right here. The comment says, can you tell Charlotte Tilbury she needs to stop making me spend so much money? Her products are amazing. On the very top, that person's name is Heart Toff Greggs. Okay, fair enough. Oh, she did it again. Can you do a smoky sunset look? She's choosing these comments to talk about. She's choosing those comments. Again, Heart, Heart Greggs. I'll call him Heart Greggs, okay. Oh, another one. Can you do a smoky sunset look? Same comment. Can you try the Dior Forever Foundation? I heard it's incredible. Um, again, Heart Greggs, same name, same person. This is the, here's the pic when they went wedding shopping. Absolutely same guy. Here's a picture of the same guy right there. That's the same guy, that's her friend. Michaela, trust me, you need an eye balm. It's uh, change your life. Again, Heart, Heart Greg's. And then here's Heart Greg's account. This is her friend. That was literally her friend. She's literally telling her friend to leave these comments and then she's gonna pick it and say, I've been getting a lot of comments. Y'all want me to review this. And there she goes, review, like, it's like, it's so contrived. It's so fake. Like. Because God forbid she'll pick a regular normal person who wants to see a review of something and then uh, then people go follow that person. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. So obviously what she's saying, her people don't even want to watch that. Just to leave a comment, can you try the Dior Forever? I heard it was incredible. Huh. It's been done before. It's been done before, but it's like, it's so sloppy that she keeps getting, getting caught in this. I don't get why she keeps getting caught in all this mess and this drama. And um, you know, I, every time I call it out on TikTok, I get all these negative comments. I was there in the beginning calling out her inconsistencies. I was in the snake pit, I was in the lion's den, I was in the dirt and I, I was in the trenches. I was in the trenches. Girl, I was in the trenches. And oh, they wanna say you're obsessed, you're so obsessed, you're so obsessed. Right here. I called her out twice in this video. Just to add to the multitude of other instances where I called her out. Mm -hmm. Don't forget guys, you can sign up to get text notifications from me to know when the hottest tea drops. You can also check me out on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Christian Mingle, OnlyFans, I'm still joking. You can check me out on all those websites like that if you, if you feel so inclined. But I don't know, to wrap up the video, I just have to say this chick is going to be exposed. Just wait, guys. It's only going to get better. She is digging herself a hole. She has been called out so many times and the thing she's gone so much without being called out under the radar that now, because she's uh, trending, now she's getting called out more and more and more and more and ruining her reputation, ruining her reputation. And for what? You cannot be a Jeffree Star coming out with your own skincare line in today's age. He can't sell out. Kylie can't sell out like they used to. So what is she gonna do? Just just live on TikTok, just reviewing mediocre makeup the rest of her life and act so excited about it? Very interesting. It, it's, it's almost kind of sad, you know? I can pivot, girl. I can talk about Kim Kardashian drama, Travis Scott drama. I can talk about Michaela. I can talk about Jeffree Star. Girl, drama never sleeps. Girl, I'm always gonna have a business in drama. It's news. For the hottest celebrity news on YouTube, keep it locked in here at Rich Lux, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, I love you so much.